Happy Monday night, everybody. Uh, thank you for tuning in here. I'm your host, Steve Tower, and welcome to After Further Review Under the Hood, uh, where tonight we will be finishing up a game that we started on Friday uh, using the new uh, Quick Reference Trading Card Guide for History Maker Baseball. Uh, this was the latest release that just came out um, from Play.com, and it allows you to... Uh, to do quick reference on um, using baseball trading cards. So you get these nice, nice handy dandy full color uh, double sided cards. And if you order the deluxe or the luxury box packet, you also get um, four packs of Topps 1987 trading cards, uh, which is what I use to create these two teams. And uh, started the game on Friday. We had some uh, some technical issues uh, that I've since figured out. Um, so we only played three innings of that. So tonight we will finish it and see uh, see which team comes out on top. We have uh, teams that are led by um, uh, Tommy John is leading the home team. He's the hometown pitcher, and uh, Mark Langston is the visiting pitcher. And uh, so far, we have a 3 nothing game. So Tommy John has actually pitched a pretty good game, except that he's given up two solo homers. And um, then in the third inning, they uh, scratched across uh, a couple of runs. So um, we'll see if he's able to bounce back um, and keep his team in the game. And if not, maybe somebody else will, will have to come in from the pen and... Uh, and help him out, but um, for now, let's go down to our overhead cam, uh, down to Coors Field, and see what happens here. So, um, so we are in the top of the fourth inning. Tommy John still on the mound, uh, and we've got the uh, let's see, the six, seven, eight batters are due up here. So Chris Chambliss is going to lead things off, first baseman for the the visitors, and. So we'll just uh, get right into the game. Um, if you click on the um, the icon in the upper left-hand corner, it'll take you to uh, the video for the first part of the of this game. If, if you're not watching this game live, you want to go see the the first few innings uh, and a little bit more explanation on how these cards work. Um, but for now, just a, a real quick overview. Um, all you do is you. You take the card, and whatever the last row is, that's the stats that you're using. Um, so, for instance, our pitcher here, Tommy John, um, we were able to determine that he has the star quality because his ERA is um, it was 2.93 this year, so that falls under there. Um, and then the other quality that he has is double control. And we got that from this sheet here. So uh, what I find is really handy to do is to um, pre-rate your starting pitchers, uh, since you'll be referencing them most often. Um, and then everyone else, you just kind of rate on the fly. I feel like it adds a different, um, kind of a different, uh, for lack of a better word, uh, quality to the game uh, than it is when you're playing with the cards um, that just have the, the qualities rated on them. Um, and... Uh, Plus, it also makes you turn the cards over and and see all the uh, you know the the stats for that player. Um, sometimes they have fun little um, facts in the middle of this, like Wally Joyner's card says that he attended Brigham Young University. Um, he and his wife have two daughters, so I'm not sure if I, if he has has had more children since 1987. But um, so it's it's sort of a slower paced. Um, way to play history maker baseball uh, but I feel uh, a lot of fun especially if, if it's uh, something you can do head-to-head -head with somebody 
it's uh, definitely a, a, a very fun way to play so all right uh welcome to everyone who has joined me here uh looks like we have three of our members on the board uh, mark russell bob hansen uh and dave are in here welcome aboard guys thanks for tuning in and uh, dave from baseball demos is also in sharing his love for the the 87 tops card so yeah this is probably the about the pinnacle of baseball trading cards the 1987 range before it like really exploded and suddenly there was new sets of cards coming out every other month that seemed like so uh yeah definitely a, a fun time to be collecting cards so but uh so here we go uh the uh the visiting langston's up on the or coming up to bat here in the top of the fourth and they are currently leading three nothing let's see if uh tommy john can keep him in check here uh he'll face uh chamberless to lead things off so we'll roll and we get a two three five well, let's see so tommy john is not wild let's see if the batter is eager so for that we're gonna go to which card is that? It's going to be card C on the back side. And what we're looking at is walks. So Chambliss walked. Oh, where is it here? He, oh, he only walked 15 times in, let's see. Oh, and he had under 100 at bats. So he is, um, yeah, he is definitely going to be eager. So we he will uh, ground out too short. All right, so there's one down, and he actually homered his last at bat. So uh, now we got Andy Allison, rookie catcher for the Cleveland Indians. Let's see, he's 0 for 1 so far tonight. 466. Oh no, that's the control check. <laughs> and unfortunately for Tommy John, he has double control, so that means that Allison is going to single and then prior is going to single as well and i'm pretty sure that andy allison is going to be stoic well wait a minute actually he had 10 stolen bases uh let's see the oh here we go card d has the, so he had 10 stolen bases and 100 at bats uh so if we Double that. Get to 200 and have 20. Yeah, how about that? He, he's actually considered active. Um, okay, so he will move to third on the single from uh, prior. All right, and now we come to the, the pitcher spot. Uh, Mark Langston is up, so he will definitely drop down a sacrifice bunt. And he does. Oh, we actually, we got runners at the corners. Sorry. Um, and one down. Well, I guess he could still sack. Well, why not let him swing away here? They got the lead. Uh, one, three, three. Okay, so he is definitely not going to be a slugger. So that's going to be a fly out to right field. Oh, geez. And actually, why don't we see if... Uh, if um, Allison can tag up in advance. So first see if he gets a jump, and he does. Uh, so he is an active runner. Uh, so yeah, he is gonna, how about that? All right, so that's actually gonna be a sacrifice fly for Langston. And the visitors go up four to nothing here in the fourth inning. Uh, there's two down, and we go back to the top of the order, and the wizard, Ozzie Smith, will lead things on, or uh, will come up to bat now. Runner on first and two down. He is 0 for 2 so far at the plate. 2 3 6. Double control. Well, this time having the double control helps, so uh, Smith is going to ground back out to the mound, and that will end the inning. But the visitors put on another run, and is now 4 to nothing. As we head to the bottom of the fourth. Okay, so uh, we're going to have the two, three, and four batters coming up for the home squad. Uh, Wally Joyner, rookie Wally Joyner, Wally World, will lead things off. Uh, 0 for 1 so far tonight. 3, 5, 6, are they the same hand? Did he bat left? Yes, he did. Okay, so, so that's going to be a strikeout. 
for Lincoln to lead things off. And now here comes Big Dave Parker. Uh, played in Cincinnati in 86 and 87. Uh, he struck out his first at bat. One, two, five. Uh, struggler, no, is he patient? So again, we're going to be looking at walks. Okay, here we go. Card number C. So he had 162 at bats and walked. Versus walked. He walked 56 times. All right. So if we double that to get to about 300 and 100 walks. So 300 and 100. And yes, he'll be patient. Uh, 125. So he will draw a walk. Alright, now here comes Ken Phelps, Mr. Casanza's favorite player. Um, he struck out in his first at bat. Uh, 245. Let's see, is he a hero? He is not going to be a hero. That is on this uh, very first card. Whoa, there's where to go. Okay, so batting, batting qualities. Uh, he batted 247 that year, so his. Um, average qualities is actually going to be nothing so he is not a hero so he will pop up to second base and that'll be two down and we will go to the experience chart for johnny ray's at bats and let's see johnny ray this was his one two three this was his sixth season he has on here so according to our is he an icon or a prospect uh, six to eight seasons is going to be a semi-icon, and this was only Langston's third, so he's going to be a semi-prospect. Oh, no, sorry. He's going to be neutral for his experience. All right. So we'll roll on this chart. Three, four. Uh, prospect batter. Uh, no. No. Um, so ground up number up the first baseline, uh, runners would advance, but it's not going to matter because that's going to be the third out. So we'll say he grounds out two, three and Langston with another zero on the board. And now we will head to the fifth inning. Uh, let's see. <laughs> people talking about uh, big dave parker <laughs> and i had forgot that that was um that was how the reds acquired jose rijo they traded dave parker they must have traded him to the athletics i believe right that's who jose rijo had played for and uh and then of course rijo went on to uh to guide them to the 1990 world series championship um, oh, that's funny, but I, I guess I had kind of forgotten that Parker was who they uh, made the trade for. All right, so here we go. Top of the fifth, uh, Robbie Thompson is going to lead things off for the visitors. 2-2-4, two, two, pitching at home. Uh, Tommy John is, so he will pop out to short. And there's one down. And now this will be George Hendrick. Um... Let's see, Hendrick, uh, two for two on the day with uh, two RBIs, a homer and a single. Uh, let's see, question from Ray. Is the game designed not to figure out any of the players' qualities before the game starts? Um, so you can. You can certainly go through and pre-rate them um, when you're playing with trading cards. Um, I was saying at the top of the show, what I like to do is pre-rate the starting pitchers since you're going to be... Um, referencing them more often but for the batters i just do it on the fly um but you certainly could um if you wanted to pre-rate all the all your batters and write their qualities um on your score sheet or i don't know maybe put something on their um on their trading card but i i just kind of like to do it on the fly and uh and play it like that since i'm most likely not going to ever be doing any long-term projects with trading cards, this is something you'd be doing like one off, you know, um, maybe playing head to head, head to head with somebody. Um, but uh, but um, uh, when you're playing with trading cards versus playing with the uh, the sets, the pre-designed sets, um, 
just kind of a different feel. And like I said, it kind of gives you an excuse to need to flip over the card and check out all of his stats and, um, you know, kind of slow the pace of the game down. And I, I feel that that's a deliberate um, um, design uh, choice by uh, by Keith for this. So, All right, so here we go. One down, nobody on for uh, George Hendrick. Two, four, six. Uh, oh, and that's a control check. Uh, Tommy John has double control, so he's going to get Hendrick to ground out to the mound. Uh, and then he will get uh, Gary Matthews to also ground out to the mound. And so Tommy John's first one, two, three inning. And the score will remain at five to nothing. All right. Uh, and now we'll go to the bottom of the fifth. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm just keeping up with the uh, the comments. I have some good things going on. Uh, <laughs> some history about uh, Jose Rijo. Rijo famously said the Reds traded Dave Parker and got two good arms in return. <laughs> Unfortunately, the good arms were both mine. That's great. <laughs> oh, all right. So here he goes. So Mark Langston still has a shutout going. Let's see. He's given up... Um, three hits and struck out four and struck out five in uh, four innings so he's got himself a good game going on he'll face uh, Gedman to lead things off two three four runners on base no uh, he is definitely not a hot batter so he will pop up to third and we've got one down and now here comes Chico Walker from the Cubbies uh, Walker 0 for 1 on the night. Ooh, let's see. Is he a sad sack? No, he hit 277. So that's going to be in the semi-hero. Um, so he is going to double into center field. And we're going to go to the chemistry chart. All right, so chance for the, the home squad, the Tommy Johns, to get on the board here. Uh, both teams are semi-harmonious. Let's see, 1-5. Uh oh pitching team harmony. No, the dot says no. Uh, so it's going to be a bloop single for Craig Reynolds. Uh, but the lead die is 1, so... I don't think that Walker is active. Oh, geez, actually... <laughs> He stole 15 bases in only 28 games and 100 at-bats. Oh, actually, I think he is going to be active. Then, let's see. So 100 at-bats, we'll double that to 200. And then he'd have 30 stolen bases. Uh, yeah, he is double active. Okay, so um, the single for Reynolds is going to easily score the speedy walker. All right, and the home squad is on the board. It is now four to one, and we've got the number eight hitter, Steve Bouchelle, up. Uh, Bouchelle singled his first at bat. Three, five, six. Oh, let's see. He is a righty. Okay, so he's not going to strike out. Is he a utility or sad sack? He batted two forty three. Oh, uh, let's see, 243, no, so he's going to be neutral for his average. Um, so he is going to get a single. And Reynolds will go to third. And we've got runners at the corners, one down, one run already in. And I think we are going to pull our starter, Tommy John. So he will be done for the day. Um, let's see. We will bring in... We'll bring in uh, Roy Smalley, <clears throat> veteran uh, DH and shortstop. And, yeah, he's a switch hitter, so he will hit for Tommy John here in the bottom of the fifth. All right, so we got runners at the corners. One down. One run already in. Let's see if the pinch hitter can do something. Oh, I thought I was going to roll 366. That would have been funny. Let's see. So, struggler. Oh, he's a semi struggler right now because he's let um, three in a row on, but no. 
Uh, the batter is not a champion. He batted 246, so he's going to be neutral there. Um, let's see. So it's going to be a ground out to second base, unless is he a whiffer? So he struck out 80 times in 143. So we'll double that. We'll say that he struck out 160. 150 and 300 at bats. Um, oh, so he's actually not a whiffer. So it's going to be a ground out to second base. And with a lead die of three, the uh, runner on third is going to score. Uh, Bouchelle will get um, forced at second. So he'll be on on a fielder's choice, but a run will come in. And that cuts the lead to four to two. Two down now. We'll go back to the top of the order. And here is Brett Butler, the ageless ageless Brett Butler, uh, played for the Indians this season. He is one for two on the day. Three, five, six. Oh, uh, and he is going to strike out. So that'll end the inning. But Langston finally gets a chink in his armor and gives up two runs in the fifth. And it is four to two as we head into the sixth inning. And we're going to have our first reliever. So let's see. Oh, how about we'll have the immortal Larry Anderson come on. So we'll close the book on Tommy John. He went five innings. One, two, three, four, uh, oh, five, six. Uh, so six hits, four runs, all of them earned. I don't think he walked. No, he walked one. Uh, and two homers and one, two, three, four, four strikeouts. So not a bad day if it wasn't for those two solo homers. Um, all right, so let's take a look at Larry Anderson, uh, and we'll uh, we'll rate him first. Let's see. So his ERA was a 2.78. Uh, so he will be a star. And then let's see. He struck out 33 in 64 innings pitched. So that's closest to 25. And so he is going to be semi-flash. And then let's see, does he have control? He walked 23. So he is going to be neutral. All right, so he's a star and semi-flash. All right, and he is going to face uh, Murphy, Chambliss, and Allison. Um, let's see, Murphy is over 2 on the day. And so oh, he is going to ground out too short to lead things off here in the six. One down, base is empty for Chris Chambliss. Chris Chambliss of the Braves. Let's see, one, three, six. Um, he is not an ace. Is he a whiffer or cold? Well, he's not cold. Is he a whiffer? Let's see, he struck out 24 times in 122 at bats. So we'll double that to, we'll say 50 and 200. Ah, uh, yeah, so he is a whiffer, so he will strike out. And now here comes the speedy catcher, Andy Alderson. Uh, one for two, the run scored. Two, three, five, wild, no, is he eager? Ooh. Not sure if he is. Let's see, how many walks did he have that year? He had 14 uh, and 293 at bats. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, 293, where are we at? Okay, so well, 300... And 14 walks. I don't think that's going to... He is going to be, well, semi-eager. Oh, the dot says no. Okay. 
Um, so, oh, well, they'll ground it in a second. Okay. All right, so Anderson with a 1 2 3 inning. And we will head to the bottom of the six. And it is uh, 4 to 2. All right. Oh. Welcome aboard to everyone just tuning in. Um, we are in the bottom of the six, and the, uh, the home team has still held on to the lead, although Mark Langston finally cracked a little bit in the bottom of the fifth, and two runs came across, uh, and it is four to two as we head into the sixth. Tommy John was pulled for a pinch hitter. Uh, and he's out of the game. Larry Anderson came in and just pitched a clean uh, top of the six. So here we go. Langston pitching to the two, three, and four batters. Wally Joyner will lead things off. Uh, let's see. Oh, he is not fresh. And he is definitely not a utility or a sad sack. So Wally World's going to single. That's his first hit of the game. One for three on the night. And now here comes the infamous Dave Parker. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, someone just discovered that he played a year for the the Brewers. Um, but that must have been after this. So yeah, he played from with the with the Bucks from 73 to 83 and then this was his third year with the Reds. Uh, at this point in his career, he already had 247 homers. He had a pretty good year that year. Played all 162 games. About a 273 with the 31 homers. Uh, the year before that, he had 34 homers for the Reds. So. All right, so here we go. Uh, we got a man on first, nobody out. One, two, four, control. Uh, oh, Langston does not have control. Is he eager? I think he might. Well, let's see. 56 walks. Um. Oh, no, he's actually neutral on that. So he is going to draw a walk. And the home team has their first two batters aboard. And here comes the immortal Ken Phelps. Look at that. That just wonderful 80s stash that he has going there, too. Um, so here we go. Two on, nobody out. Chance to do some damage for Phelps. One one three Ace Snow is he a slugger? All right, let's see. He had twenty four home runs and three hundred and forty four at bats. Uh, where are we at? So that's the black. So he is a slugger and a semi home run king. Uh, so he is gonna hit a double, and that's gonna score Joiner. Parker will. Hold at third. Well, and hold on, folks. It's suddenly a one-run game. And we've got runner, two runners in scoring position and nobody out. So we'll get some action going in the uh, the home team's visiting, or the, the home team's bullpen. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll get a, uh, a lefty and a righty going. We'll have uh, Barry Jones and Ed Vandenberg warming up so uh, here comes Johnny Ray uh, Johnny Ray has singled was caught stolen caught stealing and uh, had to ground out 156 is he a whiffer 47 strikeouts and 579 at bats uh no he's neutral so we're gonna have a uh, outfield drama check three three is the left fielder gold um we have hendrick playing in left field and he is gonna be semi gold because he is listed as just a um outfielder he's not specifically listed as a left fielder um, and it doesn't mention anything about a gold glove, so unfortunately he's not gold for this. Although, I think uh, the visitors will use their um, 
their first card here and we'll use this diving catch um, so an outfielder uh, one time he is considered gold and it can be played after the outfield drama roll chart so so for this one he is gold let's see so three three um, Oh, but it's still going to be a hit. So it's quick retrieval of solid single holds to batter to first. Okay, so um, so everyone's just going to advance one base. Otherwise, it would have been an error and two runs would have scored. All right, so uh, it is suddenly a tied game. And there are still no outs. And here comes Rich Gedman. And I think that... Uh, Boy, Langston had been pitching so well. I think we're gonna try to see if he can, because we're, oh, we're gonna have runners at the corners. Hmm. Yeah, we'll let him go one more lefty on lefty. Uh, Gedman is 0 for 2 on the day. 355. Um. Oh no. <laughs> and he is a struggler. Right now, because he has four people have gotten on, so that's going to be a single into left field. That will score another run. Uh, Ray will go to third. And that is going to finally do it for Langston. Oh, boy. He was pitching so well. All right, so Chico Walker is up. He is a switch hitter. And then we have a left-hander. All right, so we'll have... Uh, Ed Vandenberg come in. All right, Ed Vandenberg that year for the Dodgers, his first year with the Dodgers. Let's see. He had a 3.41 ERA, uh, so he will be a semi-star. And he struck out uh 42 and 71 at bats. So that's going to be closest to 50 and 71. So uh, so he's going to be a semi flash. And he walked uh, just 33. And that so he will have semi control. All right. So semi-star, semi-flash, semi-control for Mr. Ed Vandenberg. Another, another nice rockin' uh, 80s stash going on there. So, <laughs> all right. So we've got runners at the corners still. Uh, three runs already in. Uh, nobody out. Let's see. Oh, is he a he? No, he's uh, 277. Oh, that's a semi-hero. Oh, but the dot says no. Okay, so that's going to be an infield fly. He'll pop out to second, and that is a humongous first out. Uh, and we will go to the experience chart. All right, so this is his one, two, three, four, five season, his fifth season. So he is going to be, the pitcher is going to be neutral. And, oh, the batter is definitely going to be an icon. This was his 11th season for Craig Reynolds. All right, so neutral pitcher against an icon batter. Oh, I guess we don't need the uh, decider die. 3-5. Is it an icon batter? Yes, he is. I just swing it last second. Loops a single into the outfield. So, uh, Ray will come in to score. Gedman will hold at second. And it's another run in. Oh, boy. One down. Runners at first and second. Here comes Steve Bichel. Uh, let's see what he can do. 1-1-4. One, one, is the batter or pitcher fresh? Yes, he is. All right. So that is going to be finally an inning-ending double play. But the home team scores one, two, three, four runs in the inning. And they have taken the lead. Uh, let's see, and all four of those are going to get charged to Langston. So he gives up six runs. Ouch. In five, oh, five plus innings. Ouch. Let's see, one, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hits. No homers. Man, what a good game he had going. Then just fell apart. One, two, three, four, five. Six Ks. And I think just that one walk. No, two walks. One, two. All right. So the home team with the lead for the first time. Um, oh. Um, Dave, uh, sorry, I missed you signing off. Thanks for, uh, for tuning in and thanks for, uh, being a member of the channel. Thank you for your support. Um, let's see. Oh, there's more, uh, more talk about, <laughs> um, Jose Rijo. That's kind of funny. It's just one of those names that unless you're a big baseball aficionado, I guess at this point, he, cause he had a couple of good years and then really didn't do much. He got hurt and. But he had that one magical year with Cincinnati. Um, all right, so we're going to let Larry Anderson stay in for now. Um, and we've got the 8, 9, and 1 spots due up for the visitors. Now trailing for the first time. 3, 3, 5. Is he wild? No. Is the batter a sad sack? Oh, he batted 170. I think that that is 170. He is a... Oh, he's a semi-utility and semi-sad sack. <laughs> so, no. Um, so, he is going to get a single, and then uh, he... No, he's definitely going to be stoic. Okay. So, a single. And let's see. We've got the pitcher slot coming up, but... All right, yeah, we'll bring in a pinch hitter. So uh, Vandenberg able to come in and get those three big outs. Uh, to give up one hit, no runs. Charged him anyways. No walks, no strikeouts. All right, so his day will be done. And let's see, who are we going to bring in? Oh, here we go. We'll bring in um, Harry Spillman of the Dodgers, or of the uh, Giants, sorry. Uh, this year, he uh, his first year with the Giants, he batted 287 uh, with two home runs and uh, 22 RBIs and limited, limited work, just 58 games, 94 at-bats. Let's see if he can get the best of uh, Mr. Anderson here. So uh, one on, nobody out. Two, five, five. Oh, and that's going to be a star check. And yes, he is a star. So that's going to be a strikeout. All right. So one down. Runner still on first. And here comes Ozzie Smith. Ozzie Smith 0 for 3 so far. Uh, let's see. Workman, no. I don't believe he's going to be a whiffer. Let's see. He struck out, yeah, just 27 times. How about that? In 1986... Ozzy Smith struck out just 27 times in 514 at bats. That's amazing. But unfortunately, <laughs> by not striking out, he's going to ground into a 5 4 3 double play that's going to end the inning. Um, and that will do it for the top of the seventh. So no runs in. Um, too busy grounding out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, but that's just, that's like otherworldly to just have 27 strikeouts and that many at bats. That's, huh. Because uh, I, I have to admit that uh, I always thought of uh, Ozzie Smith just for his glove and um, not for his, his batting. Um, I was a little too young to see a lot of his exploits or to remember them so but um but yeah he was definitely definitely good with the bat all right so here we go we've got the um pitching spot due up so we're gonna close the books on mr anderson who goes two innings and he is in line for the win if the home team can uh keep their their lead and he gave up just that one hit no runs uh, no walks and two Ks. 
So very good relief effort. And let's see. So they've got Lee Smith waiting to uh, to close the game, but Willie Hernandez is going to be warming up and ready ready for uh, to do setup duty. And let's see. Who are they going to bring in to uh, lead off this inning? Oh, I guess they'll have uh, we got Mike Eldretti of the Giants will come in and oh um, Barry Jones will be pitching for the the visitors new pitcher so let's see Barry Jones this year this was his uh, his rookie campaign he had a nice 2.89 ERA uh, so he is going to be a full star And he struck. <coughs> oh, sorry. Uh, he struck out 29 batters and 37 innings pitched. Uh, let's see. So 29. Uh, okay. So he's not. Oh, sorry. Wrong side. 29. He is going to be semi flash. And then he walked. 21 and so he is going to be neutral for his uh, control rating all right so uh, star and semi flash for mr jones all right so here we go pinch hitter mike aldretti up new pitcher barry jones <laughs> and i just realized his card it looks like he's it looks like he's filling out like a crossword puzzle <laughs> Or something. <laughs> That's uh, maybe, or maybe he's maybe he was scoring the game while he was sitting in the bullpen. That looks like it's the uh, <laughs> it's a program for a game because I see the Pirates logo on the bottom. But man, that's that's tough. You get a your first trading card and it's you <laughs> writing in a in a program. Uh, oh boy! All right, let's see how he does here. Uh, one three six. Uh, he is not an ace. Uh, the batter, is he a whiffer? So he had 34 strikeouts in 200 at-bats. Uh, so he's going to be no neutral. All right, so we're going to go to the infield drama chart. 4-5. Is the shortstop iron? Oh, come on. that's It's the wizard. Absolutely not. So a bobbled ball, but an on-time throw to first. Uh, let's see. Uh, that was Joan or um, Altredi. All right, so he is going to ground out to short, and there's one down, and we're back to the top of the order. Brett Butler. Butler looking for his second hit of the game. He's one for three so far. Three, three, five. Wild, no. Is he a sad sack? No, he batted 278 that year. So he is going to get a single, and then he's going to steal second base. All right, there we go. Home team looking to maybe tack on an insurance run. Uh, here comes Wally Joyner, runner in scoring position. One down. 466, uh, control. He does not have control. Um, is he a home run king or a slugger? So this year he had 22 homers. Oh, wrong card. 22 home runs and 593 at-bats. So it's the blue. So he is a semi-slugger and a semi-home run king. Um... Oh, or a semi-home run king. I see. Okay. If more home runs, then use the home run king variant. If more double... Okay, so he... Let's see. He had 22 homers and 27 doubles, so he'd be a semi-slugger. Um, but the dot says no, either case. So he's not going to strike out, but he's going to... So he's going to ground out. Uh, the runner will advance. So we'll say he grounds out 4-3. 
All right, so two down, runner on third. Can Barry Jones get out of the inning here? Dave Parker coming up. Parker has walked twice and struck out. Uh, oh, and he's going to strike out here. It's a fresh check. So Jones gets out of the inning and keeps it a uh, two-run game. As we head into the eighth, and this is a definite... Um, uh, strength for the, the home squad. Uh, they got Willie Hernandez to be their setup guy and Lee Smith waiting in the pen to close it out. So, um, let's see. <laughs> oh, talking about the, uh, the pirates in the chat room for that season. <laughs> um, so yeah, and uh, somebody did mention that yes, I absolutely love those uh, those pillbox hats that the Pirates wore at that time. Um, all right, so here we go. Willie Hernandez on as the setup man, and this year for the Tigers, he had a three point five five ERA, uh, so he will be a semi star. And he struck out 77 in 80, uh, 89 innings pitched. So 77. So he's going to be full flash. And he walked 21 in... So he is going to have control. All right. So semi star, flash, and control. So a pretty good card for Willie Hernandez. All right. So here we go. He is facing uh, Thompson, Hendrick, and Matthews, two, three, and four batters. Two, five, five. Is he a star? He is a semi star. The dot says yes. So he is going to get a strikeout for the first out of the inning. Lee Smith starting to unwind in the bullpen getting ready for a save opportunity now uh, george hendrick uh hendrick two rbis on the day a homer and a single three five six let's see oh uh, hernandez he's a left-handed pitcher oh okay so this is going to be a single for hendrick his third hit of the game so man on first one down for gary matthews one four six flash yes, another K for uh, Willie Hernandez. Now there's two down, and here's Dwayne Murphy, the runner on first. One three four is it a gold catcher? Well, he's gonna be semi gold because uh, it's Gedman, uh, and the dot says yes, so it's gonna be a strikeout. How about that? Hernandez comes in and strikes out the side. And it remains a two-run game. And now we will head into the bottom of the eighth. And let's see. Do we want to leave? Well, I think we'll let uh, Jones have that one good inning of work. We'll bring in Bob McClure, who is a uh, left-hander. To face uh, Ken Phelps. And the home team going to see if they can maybe get an insurance run here. Uh, so this season, this was his first season with the uh, with the Spos after a uh, quite a few years with the Brewers. So he had a 3.02 ERA that year. So that is going to be good enough for a full star rating. And let's see, he struck out. 42 and 62 innings pitched. So he will be a flash. And finally, for control, walked 23. So he'll be neutral. All right, so uh, star and flash. Let's see, faces Ken Phelps. Phelps with an RBI double, his last at bat. Uh, but he will fly out to center field here. 
One down, nobody on for Johnny Ray. Johnny Ray, another uh, member of the Pirates squad here. He has an RBI single as well. Uh, two for three on the day. One for six, but he's going to strike out here. And there's two down. And now here comes Rich Gedman. Uh, the catcher for the Sox. Uh, one for three on the day with a single. One, five, six. Oh, and he is, yeah, because he was a left-handed batter. So he is going to strike out. And so one, two, three, inning for McClure. And we're going to head to the ninth. And here comes Lee Smith. On to get the save. So Hernandez, uh, one inning, one hit, no runs, no walks, and three Ks. So it's all set up for Big Lee Smith to shut it down. So let's see, this season with the Cubs, uh, he had a 3.09 ERA. So that is going to be the star rating. And let's see, he struck out 93 batters in 90.1 innings. Wow. Um, so 100, 100. So he'll be, he'll have a flash. And finally, he walked 42 in 100. So he'll be neutral. All right. So uh, star and flash. Uh, and because he's the closer, he will get the semi-ace quality um, for this first at-bat. So we've got Chambliss leading things off. Down by two runs. Let's see if they can get a little ninth inning magic going. Uh, one, five, six. Oh, is Chambliss a whiffer? I think that he is. Let's see. He struck out 24 times. Uh, 122 at bats, so we'll double it to uh, 48 and 250. 48. Uh, yes, so he's going to be a. He'll be a whiffer, so he is going to strike out. All right, so one down. Here comes Andy Allison, speedy catcher for the Indians. Two, three, four. Is there a runner on base? No. Was he a hot batter? Uh, oh, no, he ground out his first at bat, so he's going to pop out to third. And there are two down. And let's see. Greg Pryor up to bat. I don't think that. Oh, yeah, the visitors don't have like anybody really left on the bench that's going to be better than. Well, let's see. I guess they could bring in Ray Quinones. He batted a little teeny bit better <laughs> than prior. Oh, yeah, all right. And then plus they'll get the uh, potential for the pinch hitter. All right, so Quinones is going to come in to pinch hit for prior. All right, so here we go. Base is empty. Two down. Two run game. Four six six. Oh, that's gonna do it because Lee Smith doesn't have control. So, and I'm gonna assume that he is not a slugger. Yeah, he had zero home runs that year. Okay, so he will ground out. We'll say that he grounds out to short, and that'll do it. Lee Smith comes on and gets the save. So he will have the save. Hernandez. Uh, gets the hold, and Anderson will get the win in relief. Um, the loss is going to go to Langston. Um, gave up all six runs. So there we go. Your final is the Langstons, uh, four, and the Tommy Johns, six. Oh, all right. Um, let's see. Who was Somebody was saying something about... McClure, McClure blew the save in game seven of the only, oh wow, oh, how about that? <laughs> Poor Bob McClure, oh, so in the, uh, 
the 82 season for the Brewers. Uh, let's see. He was... Oh, yeah. He had no saves. So who... Why would they have had... Oh, well. Um, although he did pitch a lot. That was uh, 82 for the Brewers. He had 172 innings. Um, oh, I guess he uh, alternated between the pen and starting. So, um, huh. Well, there we go. Excellent. Well, hey, thanks, guys, for tuning in. Um... Ah, oh, okay. There we go. Uh, Bob Hansen is our resident um, Brewers <laughs> expert. So, um, well, there we go. So a little, a little history there with the Expos and the Brewers. So um, thanks everybody for tuning in. Um, oh, I see Keith uh, also stopped in. Keith, thanks for, thanks for watching. So, um, so yeah, guys, this is really, really a lot of fun playing history maker baseball with these trading cards um you know the uh, the quick rate cards they look they look fantastic they're really easy to use um you know you get a new set of manager strategy cards to use just with these games um when you're playing with trading cards just, just a lot of fun um i had a lot of fun opening up those old packs of cards uh it's something i hadn't really done in a long time uh opening up you know trading cards so it's a a really different way to play the game and, um, you know, especially if they're cards from your childhood, you know, you, you look and you're like, oh, that's right. I forgot that guy played for him. And, uh, you know, or just, uh, players that were lost in the, you know, <laughs> lost in time that just had a cup of coffee with, the, um, with one team for a couple of years. And, um, so yeah, yeah, definitely a lot of fun, nice package to pick up, um, it's uh, it's available now the uh, the quick rate guide there's uh, two different versions of it available one comes with uh, with four packs of 1987 tops cards so you can jump right into the action so there we go um, all right guys uh, that is gonna be all for now I will see you tomorrow night with the uh, from the AFR news desk and um, and then I'll update you from there to let you know what's the uh, the next project I'll be doing so all right. Uh, so everybody, thank you for tuning in. Hope you have a fantastic week. Um, until next time, my name's Steve. Get out there, have fun, play games, and I will see you after further review. Have a good night, everybody.